uh, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a, a personal prophecy for George. Um, I, um, I'll just pray and dedicate this to the Lord. So, dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me a word for George, uh, a word to bless him, encourage him, and lift his spirits up. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. I see uh, two trains uh, going along a train track and uh, one is going faster than the other and one's going slower. Um, I see you, uh, you're on the slower train uh, and uh, I see not only that uh, train going faster passing you but i see a number of trains passing you and uh, uh i get uh the words that uh, that uh you 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 are that slow train and uh you're headed to a destination and uh there's other people uh going faster than you to that destination um and uh, that can be a little disappointing to you uh, because uh, you want to uh, be uh, recognised and you want to uh, participate in ministry like the other uh, trains that are going faster. Um, but the Lord uh, says to you, like he said to me, in the same situation, that you are going to reach the destination uh, you're just taking longer um, and the Lord is uh, preparing you for a great work and um, and uh, I just thought uh, that would uh, minister to your spirit. Uh, uh, sometimes it looks like we've been passed over. Sometimes it seems that uh, God has forgotten us and uh, God isn't uh, doing anything uh, in our lives. But uh, he does love us and he does have a plan for our lives. Um, he does understand us and he knows us and uh he's got understanding um and uh, uh we we need to uh, listen to him and trust him uh with our ability to trust him with our um our subconscious mind we we need to uh, understand that he's sovereign and he understands everything and uh, he has our lives in his hands and uh, he understands things that we don't understand uh, so i pray that uh, the image of of the trains uh, one's going faster and one going slower has uh, ministered to your spirit um, and uh, that uh, you understand that God is uh, dealing with you in a sovereign way uh, and he understands and he's got uh, a way and a plan uh, for your life uh for you to be understood and for you to uh, be appreciated um i sense that uh, jesus really loves uh your uh your tenacity uh your ability to uh, withstand uh, pressure your ability to withstand trial uh, and uh, he loves uh, your strong spirit 
Uh, he loves uh, your perseverance and your endurance. Um, he loves uh, your uh, kind nature, uh, the kindness that you show other people and the compassion that you show other people. He really loves uh, the kind heartedness that uh, you have uh, towards people. He loves uh, the way that uh, you love him. Uh, you've got a very uh, simple down to earth faith and uh, you really uh, love him in a simple, uncomplicated way. Uh, it's not complex. It's not, uh, it's not theological. It's not uh, confusing. It, it, you love him in a very simple, down-to-earth way. And uh, he really loves that about you. He really loves the simplicity of your faith. Um, he said to the disciples uh, to let the children come unto him. He said, um, unless your faith is like a child, you'll by no means enter the kingdom of God. And um, you've got that childlike faith. You've, you've got that uh, childlike innocence about your faith. And uh, you really are uh, special uh, to Jesus. Um, you really stand out uh, to him. And uh, childlike faith means that you understand the principles of the Bible and you uh, trust in the word of God. You trust in the promises of God uh, that makes your faith childlike and uh, you have this simple childlike uh, trust uh, in your faith and uh, God uh, really uh, loves uh, the way that you love him, uh, that uh, you place your faith in him. I can see uh, growth happening uh, in your life. I can see uh, intimacy uh, with God uh, growing.